Chuka State consists of 11 mangrove lined islands in Chuka and 14 outer islands, atolls, and low islands beyond the lagoon. Chuck Lagoon is one of the largest enclosed lagoons in the world, encircled by a 140 mile long barrier reef and covering over 832 square miles. The Chuck Lagoon is the world destination for diving due to the sunken World War II Japanese ships and planes. And my time there, I've met a lot of people from all over the world. And uh, I know they see Chuk as one of the world destinations for diving spots. So it's a really unique place in the Pacific. Some of the main challenges are around teacher effectiveness and improving the data system. For teacher effectiveness, Research Alliance are interested in defining teacher quality. For the data system, there are concerns over ensuring the reliability and consistency and also building capacity for use, interpreting and reporting data. Currently, we're working on a study that assesses and benchmarks the education data system. Uh, this involves rating the data system on a number of specific elements, such as the quality, accuracy, and accessibility of the data. The findings of this project will then be shared with the Alliance to help inform an action plan for what areas to prioritize and how to best move forward with the system improvement. There are several bright spots for the Research Alliance in Chuka. One is engaging more parents and community members in the education system. Another bright spot that was expressed during a Research Alliance meeting is defining teacher quality. Alliance members are interested in understanding how teacher quality can be defined not only through content knowledge but also culturally relevant pedagogy. You know, uh, in my last uh, uh, Research Alliance in the Chuk, uh, I met Paul who is the local uh, base consultant. Paul mentioned something that really struck me and he said, you know Spencer, as much as we appreciate you know, the work that a lot of these outside consultants are doing, they come into our island and you know, they tell us, you know, some of the best practices of how to improve education. You know, it's good, but sometimes our people feel that we're just walking in their shadow and they're showing us the way. And then he mentioned this statement that really struck me and changed the way of how I look at empowerment in the Pacific. He said, you know, it's time for us to find our own shadow. You know, we live under the same sun, so it's time for us to take ownership of our education. So that really struck with me and I, and it changed the way that I'm, you know, thinking about the Pacific and how we can work and empowering these people.